Hello everyone. I know that I promised an injection day yesterday, um, but I've decided to um, put more distance in between my injections just simply because of the shortage going around. Um, based on conversations with my doctor um, and my own personal choice, I've just decided that that's the best thing for me versus changing to other places right now. Um, if it comes to the point where I get to the end of, I have two doses left at the 12 and a half milligrams. If it comes to the point where I um, run out before the shortages have been resolved, um, then I'm going to have to be more serious about what I'm going to do in the meantime while I'm waiting for um, more doses to happen. I mean, my, my big concern is the fact that um, if I do get another refill by the end of March, which is what um, doing my shot, my injection every two weeks is going to get me, is that what if I get my next 12 and a half milligrams and then I have to, again, delay every two weeks because of the shortage, then I guess I'm going to have to um, change how I'm delivering uh, the terzepatide to my system, um, which might be just going to compound rate. Um, for me, the cost is not any different than what I'm paying now. Um, it's just a matter of taking the time to make the change and um, actually dealing with a true needle versus um, the EpiPen that automatically injects in. So um, this week, no injection. We'll delay it until next week, but I will be online here in an hour or so to live. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Oprah's special last week, as well as some new developments with coverage on um, the uh, GLP-3, or 1, GLP-1, excuse me, um, approvals with Medicare. So anyway, that's it for now, but I will be back in touch here shortly, and we'll discuss more about new revelations with um, with uh, injectables like Wagovi, Zepbound, slash Manjaro, um, but I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys live, and talk to you soon.